Today we've got a big bag of stuff from GameStop. But before we get into that, I have a package from YouTube that I wanted to show you guys. It is two brand new figures that I am super excited about. And now I guess we'll start with this one here, which is, come on guys, Freddy Fazbear, but not just any version, he's flocked. Now I definitely have to take these out of their protectors and out of their boxes because there is some interesting stuff going on here. And the first thing I wanna show you guys is the sticker because if you take a look at it, they actually made the sticker flock. Like how funny is that? Something they totally didn't have to do but it really does make it fun. And on the quotes here it says just remember friends are forever and on the back side here it says my name is Freddy. I'm the singer in the band. Got a hat and a big bow tie. I'm a big brown bear but don't be scared I'm a real fun loving guy. Kind of rhymes. I think it's supposed to. I'll be honest with you I probably just kind of read that wrong. And anyways I'm liking this though because it's got some of the other characters on the top there. Actually it's got the main four. You guys can see them all across the back. Then it even has some of the puppet pals over here. Not puppet pals, paper plate pals, something like that. Oh, and I also really enjoy how it's got the plush version of Freddy over here. Take a look at that little guy. But anyway, let's actually open this up, find out what the quote is on the inside where fantasy meets fun. And now let's take a look at Freddy. Oh yeah, this is great. I mean, come on guys, a flocked version of them just totally makes sense. I am so glad you two's made these. And I'm trying to remember what their first ever flocked figure was. Was it Appa May? Maybe it sounds right to me. But anyways, when they started making them, I thought that they should totally do some Five Nights at Freddy's ones. And anyways, let's get into the second figure that I've got here, which is actually Chica. It's the only two that have arrived so far, and I actually already have Foxy in the collection because you two said that one over a long time ago for me to make a video on. And now it is really cool that I'm finally able to start finishing off the collection. Let's get this guy out of here though. And I wanna take a look at the box on this one too to see if there's anything, ooh, interesting going on. Now hold on, before I show you the back, let me read the box. It says, so sweet on the side, then on the back here it says, hey, I'm Chica, the lady of the group. My singing is a treat, but keep an eye on your pizza because I'm a bird who likes to eat. And then, well, we've got a pretty creepy shot of her. And now let's take this out of the box because I'm kind of curious as to what's gonna be flocked. Is Cupcake also gonna be there? I wonder. Oh, okay, so they just flocked the parts that make sense. So the Cupcake is not flocked, the Beak isn't flocked, the Let's Eat Bib isn't, neither are the Feet or the eyes either. It's actually really cool. And I honestly think you two's did an amazing job on these. I am so glad that I've almost got the set complete. Alrighty, well now I think it is time to dig into the GameStop bag and let's see what we've got here. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's do this one first. It is actually Mobius from the second season of Loki and I just love how detailed they made this thing with this TVA temporal core suit. I also think it's pretty funny how they put like that little bit of duct tape on the front and let's actually pop this thing out of the box because I want to see the helmet a little bit closer up. Oh, as well as the backside here is looking really great. I'm also really enjoying how it says TVA on the top of the helmet. Very accurate as well as the suit on the front there. And seriously, Funko did an amazing job with this one. And now before we move on, I really am liking how they made it look like his face is a little bit more enlarged, kind of like you can see inside of the mask because it's got a bit of a bubble to it. It's gonna look slightly bigger. Almost like when they do glasses for certain characters. Now, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I did really great when I went today because I've got a few things in here that I did not expect to find. Two of them being chases, but we're not gonna get to those yet. I've got another one here that I think is pretty interesting. It is the Valentine's Day Princess Leia. I know this is kind of early, but I still wanna talk about them because they are brand new and these are the chocolate versions. And I know that there are two in the set. We've got Princess Leia, which of course I've got here, but then also the Han Solo one, which I have not seen yet. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm already planning to do a chocolate Funko Pops video closer to Valentine's Day. Probably sometime in February we'll do it when I have a hopefully all of them in the collection because I really enjoy these characters. And I know that some people don't like them that much, but I feel like it's way, way better than just the pink versions of characters we've already seen before. Like this is pretty unique in my opinion. Especially with the way they've got like kind of the wrapper down to her shoulders there. You can see some of the chocolate poking out and then her head is completely chocolate. And it also has that base wrapped in chocolate or at least like a bit of a wrapping too. I don't know, it just looks like Funko's really having fun with these ones and I love when they do random figures like this as you can probably tell from the ones behind me. Oh now here is a figure that I did not expect to find today over at GameStop but I guess this is where they're shared with here in Canada. We have one of the 8-bit characters, one that we 
actually haven't seen in a long time, but it is Jubilee. And now if I'm gonna be honest, right away, I am a little bit confused here because they have it at 1306 for the number, but that would technically be for the Marvel category and not the 8-bit one. This has happened a couple times with the Rides Pops, and I don't know why they do this. They give the wrong category, but the number for the one that makes more sense. Like why they didn't just keep it in the 8-bit line, I'm not exactly sure. Also, I believe this might be my only ever bobblehead 8-bit one. I think it is. And really quickly, I want to see what that's like. Oh yeah, it's a bit odd. I mean, I do enjoy it though. Don't get me wrong. That's why I picked it up. But uh, yeah, it is definitely a different character that I didn't expect to purchase today. Oh, you know what, everybody? I forgot that I purchased a YouTube while I was over at GameStop as well because mine just recently restocked. And I'm guessing probably other GameStops did as well. They seem to all get them around the exact same time. But yeah, this is just such a fun one I had to go for. It's a different character a little bit. This is actually a twos by you twos where they're like slightly smaller and have different expressions. The one that I grabbed here seems to be like a slightly angry Pochita. So let's actually pop this one out of the box. And you know what? I could show you on the top here the four different ones they've got here. Check this out. So we've got the one that I've got here, which is kind of angry. We also have like a cute, a crying, and a sepia or kind of like a black and white version. And so yeah, this is just a really fun one. And I might give it to my brother because I know he's a big fan of Chainsaw Man. He'll probably want it up in his collection somewhere, especially because it's not too big. He could probably slot it into a good spot. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. I like the chainsaw on the front, also the cord on the back and the handle. It's just really, really cool. And there's something about it that's just like a perfect size form. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like, look at how cute that is. <laughs> Alrighty, now everybody, let's get into the chases that I got today. And I guess I'll show you this one first. We've got the Lou Gehrig Funko Pop and then Check this out. I was able to get the Lou Gehrig Chase. The only difference with the Chase is the fact that it's gold, but I still think it is such an amazing one to have both of them of, and I wanted to pick up the pair so that way I could show you what the differences were. Which I guess when it comes to this one here is pretty obvious, but still a fun set to have. And now I guess it's technically complete. I also really enjoy that they've got him swinging the bat on the base. I think that's really fun. Instead of him just like having the bat in his hand or even just standing there with a baseball, it's a good pose. Oh, and you know what I'm just noticing? Seeing now, they didn't just put it into the sports line, it's in the sports legends category, which not very many people are in it. And with Lou Gehrig, I think it is definitely a deserved spot. But now, everybody, I've got the other chase here as well, which is kind of similar. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, another sports legend, so very similar, we have Jackie Robinson. As you guys can tell for this one, it is just the normal colors, but then when it comes to the chase, we have that golden version as well. Like, seriously, some amazing figures. And I I am so glad that I was able to get both of these. I don't know if they've ever done more gold chases for the Sports Legends line. I'd have to go back and check. But either way, I've got a couple different versions of Jackie Robinson in the collection. The one of him sliding, I believe, is exclusive to Walmart, so I figured I might as well pick him up. Plus, also, if it's a chase that I don't have in the collection, I can't leave it behind. And you know what, guys? On the back side of these boxes, they actually have... Oh, no, they don't for Lou Gehrig. Oh, I thought they were going to have, like, a little blurb about him. Because on the back of the Jackie Robinson, he does. And if you guys want to take a look at it, even pause and read it, you guys totally can. Oh, and also, if you guys don't know what a chase is, if there is one available for that character, there is a box of six that is shipped out to different stores. And inside of those six, there will be one of them that is slightly different. And for example, with these ones here, it will be the golden versions, which is why it makes them so fun when you find them in the stores. And actually, when they first started making chases, they were one in 36. And I had only ever found a single one of those in person. It was a metallic Batman that I got in like 2014 when Target was still in Canada. I know, I know, pretty crazy. But anyways, everybody, that is pretty much gonna do it for today, and I hope that you guys did enjoy, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.